Hello guys and welcome to this new video tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how you can install Windows 10 or make a fresh installation of Windows 10 into your computer. So after you have set up Windows 10 into a USB or after download the ISO, downloading the ISO file and burning it into a CD, DVD or a USB flash disk or an SD card then you have to start from it. If you don't know how to do all of these steps which I mentioned now you can check the videos in the links in the description below and it should help you. So now after we have booted from our device in which we have set, set up Windows so we will be prompted to start the installation. So here you can select the language which you want to install time and currency if you are in the United States or if you are in somewhere else you can set up your currency your time and currency of your country and the keyboard input you can also change the keyboard input to match your key your computer keyboard for me all of it is matching so I'll just click next and I will just click here install now this will guide me through the setup will start and Windows will guide me through the installation don't be worried if your computer tells you that it will restart multiple times that's normal because Windows in certain stage is start setting up and restarting to make those setup uh, permanent so we'll continue th step by step so here as I do not have a key yet I will just click I don't have a key and here I will be guided to select which Windows I want to install so which which windows you want to install first if you have a license uh, for example of Windows Professional then I will suggest you to go to the professional version because it gives you more features if you have the home one then you will be only able to activate Windows home using the we using the the license which you have if you have a license for, for Windows education Windows 10 education then you will be only able to activate uh, Windows 10 education so for instance for me and since my computer has a low performance or has a low resources which is only 4 gigabit RAM and my processor um, is below i3 so it's below a core i3 so I'll just select uh, Windows 10 home also be careful to the architecture so some compute some of the processors are 32 bit or uh, we say 32 or 86 and some of the computer are 64 bits so make sure first you check the box of your computer what what is the, the architecture of your processor this is very important so now we'll just continue and we we'll click next this this will take like few seconds to up to one minute before it load me to the next window and here you have the Windows license it was last updated on June 2018 I would suggest to you to go through the license if you have time of course and if you want to do it otherwise for me as I know this license before so I will just select I accept license the license terms and I will just click next so, so here you have two options either you can upgrade install Windows and keep files and settings or you can install only advanced for me for instance since I'm doing a fresh install I will just select install Windows only so here I have 40 gig 40 gigabit I will just select next and since it's empty it's not showing me format and since I don't have other partition to add to this one I will just then just select next and the system should be able to do the operation for me you will have to wait again up to one or two minutes as there is settings in the background happening but as you see also here we are advancing so here Windows installation has started and Windows is saying copying Windows files it's done as you can see it's in green getting files ready for installation it shows 0% but this shouldn't last for very long and as soon as it's done it should go step by step until finishing up the installation I will stop the video here and I will wait until this uh, getting files ready for installation se uh, step over and then we will continue. So now the operation is, al is almost done and it have took around 5 minutes and it's gonna be over very soon and then w Windows will go to installing features. If your computer is not connected by an internet cable to the internet then Windows might try to get some updates online if not then the operation will be faster because Windows will not try to get updates online so now 
it's 99% and it will go to next step which is installing features in like 5-6 seconds. As you see the installing features went really very fast. Now Windows will try to install some updates. If, it's, if your computer is not connected to the internet then it should be fine, it, this step will go also faster. And then we'll go to finishing up the installation. So now my computer will restart in a few seconds, as I said before. You can always click restart now to speed it up. And the computer will restart. Now Windows is restarting. And you can see the Windows logo and you can see also the, the Windows charging. This might take just a few seconds and up to 5 minutes. Windows will try to set up everything for you so you have to be a bit patient. In general the operation of installing Windows 10 it takes between 5 to 15 minutes as maximum if you have everything, if you have done all the steps correctly. And also no need to worry about drivers or anything because Windows will take care of inst installing everything and getting you everything done easily and in a fast way. So now Windows is starting services, getting devices ready. And as you can see, it's advancing by 66%. It's quite fast. And now it's getting ready. As soon as Windows will start, we will get prompted into the settings. And there we will have to select the settings which, uh, which we would like. Like for example, if you would like to enable Cortana or not, and if you would like to, uh, to apply some advanced settings and this start just after the the settings of Windows 10 is finished by itself I will stop the video here and we will take back as soon as it's finished as I said as soon as the initial setups has been over now we see this blue window and it says just a moment it will also take like an additional four three minutes four minutes and then we will be enabled to do the settings which we want So now Windows has resumed and this is Cortana saying hi and it will take again a few seconds to set it up. So Cortana has finished introducing herself and telling us what we can do. Now we will be enabled to do our settings. First we will have to select we will have to select uh, the region. So I will select United States. I will click yes. And this should take just again a few moments before enabling me to do more more changes or doing more se setting up more settings. So now we will select our the right keyboard or our keyboard. For me, I have United States keyboard, so I will select US and I will click Next or click Yes. You can scroll down to f to try to find out what is your keyboard and select the keyboard which suit you, uh, which suit you. We'll just click Yes. Here it's asking if I want to add a second keyboard, I will just skip. So now Windows is saying let's connect you to a network, we will just click skip for now. And this again says that it will take just a few moments before Windows is ready, so I will just wait. Now Windows is saying connect to save time later. I will just click no since my router is not on. And as probably it will take longer if we go through that step. 
and we'll wait again a few seconds. Now Windows is asking for the name, so I will put my name and we'll click next. Here it's asking for a password. If you want, you can set up a simple or a combined password, but for instance, I can just click next. I don't need a password, so I'll just click next, next, and this should be fine. And it should not ask me for a password when I start my computer. And I will wait again a few seconds for next step. Now Cortana is saying, make Cortana your personal assistant, blah, 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 blah. And since it was a bit disturbing for me, for some people, they like her or they like it. But for me, I don't like it, so I'll just click decline because I don't want to allow Cortana to to be working. If you want to allow her to work, you can just click accept, and she should be able to help you when when you speak to the computer. So, for instance, I will just click decline, and we'll go to the next step of the settings. So now, the Windows is saying do more cross devices with activity history which will means that it will if you want timeline and other windows features to help you continue what you were doing even when you you switch device and microsoft your activity history which includes info about websites you browse and how you use applications and services select learn more to find out how microsoft products and services use this data to personalize experience while respecting your privacy if you want really to use this you can click yes but for instance i don't want windows to bother me with anything so I'll just click no and I will continue with the settings and here we come to the most important settings so if you want the computer to do the online speech recognition you can keep these settings but for me I will just click this selected to make it no uh, find my device if your computer gets stolen, uh, stolen and if the people connected to the internet then you can use it to find out your computer I will just click no uh, so here inking and typing send inking and typing data to Microsoft to improve the language recognition and suggestion if you want to keep it you can keep it this way but for me I will just click no advertising ID application can use advertising ID to provide more personalized advertising in accordance with the privacy policy of the application provider I will just deselect it uh, since I don't want to see any advert on my computer uh, the location if you want to share the location I will just click no personally diagnostic data I will just click no I will leave it to the basics Tyler uh, why I'm leaving it this way because sometimes if you have a limited data or you're sharing uh, data from your phone this might tur turn into making the data get consumed faster and that might be annoying sometimes Tailored experience, let Microsoft offer you tailored experience based on the diagnostic da data you have chosen. I will just click no and I will just click accept and I will go now to the next step. Please note that you can select or deselect any of those settings as it suits you. Uh, from the moment that you like it, you can keep it. So for instance, I will just stop the video a bit here until this is this settings is over and we'll continue. So Windows is saying almost done now. We just need to get a few more things uh, polished up for you and Windows will be able to run. So we'll have just to wait a bit. And there we go. Windows is saying hi and you can see the logo maybe. We are getting everything ready for you, blah, blah, blah. And this should again take a few seconds. Now it's saying this might take several minutes don't turn off your PC so I was just suggest to you guys to keep the computer on and to plug it to electricity so and to wait until this Windows settings is over and we will continue so now our Windows 10 have been fully installed it's now working it's asking me to connect to the network I will just click no and I will just wait and Windows is not able to connect, no internet access since I'm not connected to the internet and you can go to your startup menu and you can check your features and from now you can start installing your Microsoft Office, the softwares which you like etc and Windows is ready to be used. I hope this video tutorial was helpful to you. If you still need help or assistance, you can put leave us a comment or you can send us an email and we will reply to you and we will try our best to help you. 
Thanks for watching and talk to you soon in a new video tutorial. If you like this video, please don't forget to press like, share and subscribe to get our latest video.